Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I've been playing around with some ship mods in the creation kit and I want to share with you guys one in particular. It is this one is called Glowing Ship Modules by Inquisitor. It is a free module. I think it's one of the better ship modules out there. At least I like it quite a bit. So I wanted to share a couple of ideas, a couple of tips here and there and uh, hopefully help out with anybody out there who's interested in applying it. The one thing that I like the most about this mod is that it is using the standard parts, but then adding a little bit of more flair to it, if you will. Like I was saying, it is free. Anybody can get this mod. However, it is third party, which means it will disable achievements if it's something that you are interested. So let's go over the parts first. You have quite a few dozens new parts that will show up under the structure menu. Unlike the default parts, every variant is showing as a different item. So that means you might get a little bit long. They also have these experimental custom wings that I think is very experimental because I have not been able to highlight them. So I'm not too sure. So this is very experimental. I would not recommend using this for now. And it's not all the parts have a version. Hopefully the author will add more parts in the future. Only certain parts have this glowing treatment, if you will. I would probably say maybe about a dozen of uh, original parts have these treatments. And then you get a few uh, newer parts, like for example, the Deimos Skek. So you have a couple of variants. There's a regular, there's a top. What I've noticed is that there is a little bit of a glitch with this one. So for example, I add this part, right? It clearly it locks, but it still shows that you have unattached modules. Like if I highlight everything, this part, this is a glitch that I'm hoping the author will eventually maybe get to fixing it. And the same thing with going to the top. Like, so you have an attachment at the top, you have an attachment at the bottom, it shows, but it will not actually attach either. So, I mean, it does attach, but the system will still show as error. And if you highlight everything, you can see that this is somehow showing us not attached, even though it clearly goes in there. Just, you know, something to be aware of. Then there's also the Nova Weapon Mount. You also have a lot of structurals from Strau. Uh, this one is another one that even though when I get the white one, it still looks like it's blue if you change the color. So right now it looks like it's white, but if I change the colors to let's say like a dark, it kind of start looking like blue, the color. You can, you can see that it, somehow it becomes blue, but when I take out the other one, the other side, the other side seems to be fine. It is actually white. I grab this one. I change all the colors to black. It remains white and they're both supposed to be white, but only one kind of looks like it's white. The other one kind of becomes a little bit of a blue. Once you highlight it, it goes back again to, to white, but once you leave it, it's blue. So yeah, just keep keep in mind that, you know, it's not perfect. There are a couple of glitches here and there, as well as some of the lighting. So you can see some of the lighting here, but not the lighting on the other one. So just a few things uh, that I've noticed for you guys to, to kind of be aware. And then the last part that has a color treatment is the straw cup A. So you have some of those as well. And uh, this is kind of what I ended up doing with this ship. So this is one, I modified two others. So here's how it looks. And it looks better in, in space when you're actually uh, flying it and it's dark, it looks fantastic as you can see. So I ended up modifying the straw, the cups A's, the one at the top. I changed them to the glowing ones. And of course, all the weapon mounts, I changed them to that as well. I wish there were new parts, but I'm assuming hopefully the author will add more in the future. And I really do like the radiators glowing white at the back. The two that I was able to put here, pretty happy with this. Just, just adds a little bit of more flair to your standard bill. 
Another one that I modify is this one. This is the Star Eagle. This is the original Star Eagle with a few modifications, a few upgrades and changing the wings. So it is it is pretty nice. I like it. I ended up modifying the, the wings. I wish this part uh, back also had a glowing version, but we don't have it because this part looks like it fits perfectly with the front uh, strap nose cap. So yeah, hopefully the author will make another one for this so that the entire wing can glow. But for now, it's just uh, the tip. I also have these radiators on the side, which by the way, these demos wings, the fins, they actually pulse when you're in the game. They actually pulse. It's pretty cool. They don't sync. Uh, I noticed that. So the pulsing is is not uh, synced uh, with each other, but that's okay. Uh, not a big deal. And then at the back, I changed the tail also to a glowing. It's only in white. It does not come in blue. So it is just white at the back. It looks pretty nice in space. It just makes all your older ships builds, you know, that I had kind of get a new life. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with this. Because the parts are standard, they kind of fit. They still kind of look like this part of the, the rest of the build. And finally, I think I only did one more uh, ship that I used this and it is this one. This is my Frontier build. So I used most of the parts that I could uh, from the new ones. For example, the weapon mounts, that's for sure. I totally replaced those ones with the glowing one. And of course the straw cup ace. So those ones too, of course I did them as well. And then I also added this one, the Deimos hull. This one also glowing, so it looks like, you know, it really kind of matches with the weapon mount. So it matches really well. And finally, at the center, I added the Hope Tech radiator. I made it glowing orange, since most of the ship has orange accents and just kind of fits pretty well with the rest. Finally, the Deimos tails. So those are kind of glowing as well in white. And I really like how this one turned out. Another thing that I noticed is that when you take the straw cup A and you add color, there is one area that the color is not applying. Because I'm using gray, it's fine. You don't notice as much. But if you change the color to something else, then you can clearly see that, you know, this area here is not exactly shading properly as well. So there you have it. I just wanted to make this quick video showcasing this mod. I highly recommend it. I think it's a great way to start playing with ship mods, but not something too overwhelming. And yet it's something pretty cool that you can use to give some of your old ships a new life, you know? Go check it out. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if you wanna see any particular builds or things like that. I do have tutorials for all the ships that I show up here. So if you're interested in any of those, you can see my playlist with those tutorials. All right, so that is it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I never send out notifications when I upload, so no interruptions from this channel. That's my promise. All right, have fun, enjoy the game, and I'll see you all in the next video.